This is going to be Bible references on the lake of fire. Isaiah 34, 6 through 11 says, The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness, and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord hath a sacrifice in Basra, and a great slaughter in the land of Edomia, and the unicorns shall come down with them, and the bullocks with the bulls, and their land shall be soaked with blood, and their dust made fat with fatness. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance, and the day of recompenses for the controversy of Zion, and the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch, and the dust thereof into brimstone, and the land thereof shall become burning pitch. It shall not be quenched night nor day. The smoke thereof shall go up forever, from generation to generation. It shall lie waste. None shall pass through it forever and ever. But the cormorant and the bittern shall possess it, the owl also and the raven shall dwell in it, and he shall stretch out upon it the line of confusion and the stones of emptiness. The fire is on earth in the land of Edom Edomia, and this fire is formed at the second advent when Jesus comes back with vengeance. Second Thessalonians 1, 8 and 9 says, In flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God, and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power. So this lake of fire, different from the lake of fire that people are thrown into at the great white throne judgment, this lake of fire is on earth, and people can be cast bodily into this fire. So the Lord Jesus Christ pretty much starts a fire with his mouth. He has a sharp two-edged sword, and it's like a flamethrower. This lake of fire will remain on earth during the millennial kingdom. People who go against Jesus Christ will be in danger of hell fire. It won't be just their soul, but also their body. Unlike when a man goes to hell today, it's only his soul. In the millennium, millennial kingdom, you will be cast bodily into the lake of fire. Matthew 10, 28 says, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Notice again how it talks about the body being cast in the lake of fire. Matthew 5, 30 says, And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. And notice how Jesus Christ refers to the lake of fire as hell. So the place you go to right now when you die is hell. The lake of fire on earth and the millennial kingdom that's formed at the second advent is hell. And then the lake of fire we see at the great white throne judgment is also hell fire. So there is also a lake of fire people are cast into at the great white throne judgment and the Bible lets us know who will be cast into the lake of fire? Matthew twenty five forty one says, Then shall they say also unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. The devil isn't presently in hell. Some of the angels that sinned are in hell, suffering presently. Second Peter 2, 4 says, For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness, to be reserved unto judgment. So some of the angels are in hell, they are reserved unto judgment, that will be judged by believers at the great white throne. Look at 1 Corinthians 6, 3, it says, Know ye not that we shall judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? So the lake of fire was prepared for the devil and his angels. But you will go to hell if you reject the gospel. And Revelation 19, 20 says, And the beast was taken and with him, the false prophet that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that had, them, and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. Notice how they're cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. Are we cast alive into the lake of fire? No, we die. Our body goes in the grave. If you're lost, your soul goes to hell. But their whole bodies are going to be cast in the lake of fire. So the Antichrist and the false prophet are cast into the lake of fire. And then Revelation 20.10 says, And the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire and brimstone, where the beast and the false prophet are, and shall be tormented day and night forever and ever. So the devil is also cast into the lake of fire. But only after he does what Philippians 2.11 says, it says, And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. Death and hell 
are cast into the lake of fire. Revelation 20:13. And the sea gave up the dead which were in it, and death and hell delivered up the dead which were in them. And they were judged, every man, according to their works. These people at the great white throne judgment, they're going to be judged according to their works. There's going to be a book of life. If your name is not written in that book of life, you're going to be caught, tossed into the lake of fire. Lost people aren't the only ones being judged at the great white throne judgment. Born again believers, if you're saved in the body of Christ, you'll be judged at the judgment seat of Christ. But Old Testament saints, people, saints from the tribulation, saints from the millennium, they're going to be judged at the great white throne judgment. The judgment seat of Christ already passed, so they have to be judged somewhere. And Revelation 20, 14 says, And death and hell were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. If you're not one of the saved at this judgment, you'll be tossed into the lake of fire. And this is what the Bible calls the second death. If you don't want to be heard of the second death, then you better believe the gospel. Whosoever is not written in the book of life goes into the lake of fire. Revelation 20, 15. And whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. Notice this verse shows some of the, the people being judged are in the book of life. And as I said, that will be millennial saints, Old Testament saints. They have to be judged because the, great, uh, the judgment seat of Christ already passed. And this great white throne judgment will take place after the millennium. When these people are cast into the lake of fire, the Bible seems to imply they will get the body of a red worm. But that is another study for another day. But right now, when a lost man dies, he goes to a place called hell. In Luke chapter 16, the rich man lifted up his eyes being in torments, and he begged for a drop of water on his tongue. The chapter explains how he had five brothers. He wanted to warn about that horrible place of torment. As you can see, though, this hell is different from the lake of fire in Isaiah 34 and different from the lake of fire in Revelation 20. But this same hell that the rich man is currently in right now, presently suffering, will be cast into the lake of fire in Revelation 20. So if you're lost and you die today, you will go to a place called hell where you will burn. Sometime in the future, you will be caught up to the great white throne where you will be judged by God and then tossed into the lake of fire and you will never get out. The only way out of hell and the future lake of fire is to believe the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4 says, Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also you have received, and wherein ye stand, by which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless ye have believed in vain. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the Scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the Scriptures. So the gospel is this. Jesus died. How did he die? He died by shedding his blood. Colossians 1.14 says, In whom we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins. So he died. Key words, he died for you. He was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures. He died for you because you're a sinner. Romans 3.23 says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The way to never have to face the second death is to believe this gospel. Simply put your trust in what Jesus did for you. Don't rely on your own self-righteous good deeds to earn your way to heaven. Jesus Christ is the only righteous man, and when you believe the gospel, God takes his righteous record and applies it to your unholy, nasty, vile record. And then he takes that unholy, nasty, vile record, and those sins are gone completely. That's the true meaning of being washed in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. But I hope you will believe the gospel and be saved from this future lake of fire.